そこの左上隅の戦いあこれうち損じると黒が死にますねうん一の二が急所です惜しいその上なんだな Hello and welcome to another episode of the Magic of Go series. In this video, we'll talk about one of the most famous and beautiful Tsujis in Go, the one called Under the Stones. It's when your opponent captures some of your stones, and then you get to play inside that space where the stones were captured, and you take something back. You might have seen this in some problem books, or you might have been lucky enough to play it in your games. And、uh, why did I show you that little part of Hikaru no Go at the very beginning? Well, You better stick around till the end of the video to find out. And now, let's get started. In theory, Under the Stones looks like this. This is a problem that you've probably seen in so many books before. Black has to live, and this obvious move here doesn't work. White will push, and Black only has one eye. The only way for black to live is this brave move here to maximize its eye space. Now, of course, white is gonna invade, and now black calmly makes one eye in the corner. White will sacrifice to take away this eye. Black captures. White throws in again, and now if black captures, white will kill. But black is not gonna capture. Black will connect. White has to take the four stones. And now these two stones have a weakness. Do you see it? This is under the stones. Black plays Atari and Black's group lives. Now, this looks kind of simple, but now let's take this and pump it up to 11. In this gigantic problem, it's White's turn. White has a huge group in the middle. It has a lot of liberties but not a single eye yet. So, white really has to come up with a good plan to save it. Get busy living or get busy dying. The obvious target for white to attack is this black group here. It seems kind of weak, but actually it's incredibly resilient. And white can just attack it casually. For example, this obvious connection is never gonna work. There's a weakness here, so black will play like, like this. White will take away this eye. Black makes another. And after this connection, black will throw in. And you can see that white, after white captures Atari, and there is no connection. Black will capture something and live. So, how about playing this key move right here? This also doesn't work. Black will、uh, just Atari. And.、Uh, Now, there's this crunching to Suji like this. White can't connect. Black will capture everything. And there's also a possibility to make an eye here. So, the only way that white can do something about this is this very sneaky and patient move here, which quietly takes one of the black's possible eyes away. Now, black has to be very careful. Black. Just like before, maximizes his space. Once again, this move doesn't work, so the only thing that white can do is play here. Black has to cut it off. If black tries to do the same trick as before, the crunchy maneuver, playing here, white will connect, and now it actually doesn't work. Look, if black plays this Atari, it seems that white can't connect again. But white can, and white will. Black will capture. And after we've captured the stones, white will play inside. And there's a weakness. Black connects. And black is dead. So, we have to go back. And cut white off. White plays here. And those of you with a good eye can probably see those dark thunder clouds coming out of the blue. And、um, black seems to be getting in trouble here. There's a shape problem. So black would really like to fix it right now. But in this case, of course, white will make this bulky five and black will die. So 
black has to play here, Atari, and black captures. Normally, this twisted four shape is alive, but in this case, there is under the stones. Atari. Black has to connect, and white extends, killing black. That's it, problem solved, right? No, 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 it's not going to be so simple. After this Atari, black is not going to connect. Black will Atari back, letting white capture these five stones. White will capture, of course, and there is a reverse under the stones. Now these two stones are weak and they can be captured. Atari. Black seems to be alive. The only thing that white can do here is just force black to capture them. And uh, after black does, black is completely 100% alive. And what white got is this eye, which appeared seemingly out of nowhere and incente. And now white needs to make the second eye, and he can no longer play in this direction, so he has to make it somewhere here. The obvious choice is playing right here. It will be very boring if black now captured the stone, white descends, and white is alive. Two eyes. But black has one more way of trying to destroy white's eye. Instead of capturing, black can attach here. Now white connects, black blocks. And if white blocks and tries to take the stone, Atari, and connection. This eye is gone. This is now a false eye and white is dead. So instead of this, white has to Atari from here. Black threatens to cut, white connects. And this next Isuji, you've probably seen it before in many problem books and you've probably even played it before. So black sacrifices one more stone in the hopes that if white captures, black will throw in again and white is dead. This is not an eye. But this is exactly why I showed you the episode of Hikaru no Go at the very beginning. Because this next Isuji is very similar to that one. White is not going to capture. White makes this brilliant placement in the corner. Black can't connect, of course. If he does, white captures everything. So, instead of this, black has to take care of these two stones first. White makes another beautiful diagonal move to Suji. And once again, black can't connect. White would descend and black still dies. So instead of this, black has to capture these stones first. And now, finally, white can capture. Yes, black can still throw in, but white still makes an eye in the corner. Now, when you first saw this white group with no eyes struggling to make life in the center, did you see it coming that it was going to build his second eye here? I know I didn't when I first saw this problem. And even though it's not from an actual game, it's a made up problem, but it doesn't make it any less magical and beautiful. It's a real whirlwind of Tsuji's here. It's time for some problems, but first let me show you the solution to the problem from the previous video. It's actually quite tricky. This here is Hanezeki. So white really cannot capture these stones in Atari. If white captures them, this will give black enough liberties to win the capturing race against this corner. And after black captures these stones, this will no longer be Seki, so black will capture all of this and win the game. Of course, black can't connect here, capturing these three, because after this, white will win the capturing race against this group. So neither side can capture anything here. What about these five liberties here? Well, neither side can do anything about them either. If white takes one of these liberties, this will give black enough liberties to capture here, and then win the capturing race against the group. And if black fills one of these liberties, white captures and wins the capturing race against black. 
So neither side can make a move here, which means that both players have to pass. And then the only side with the territory is white. White has 14 points. So white wins the game by 14 points. And here's one more problem for you to solve. Black to play. And of course it's connected to the topic of this video. And I'll see you next time. This is Go Magic.